So guys, we're referring to mga galing ang flight is from Metro Manila to Calibo and then from Calibo magta-transfer kami ng Caticlan para makarating ng Boracay Island. So via Cebu Pacific ang flight namin. So dito sa video na to, naglakad kami from airport to hotel cause we thought mahal na umasay. But guys, 15 pesos lang to. So go na. The next day, it's 8.55 in the morning, nagpa-van transfer kami from Calibo going to Caticlan. Para makasakay kami at Tabon Port. Guys, 150 pesos lang siya. So, very affordable. Um, and the hassle-free kasi diretsyo na talaga siya sa Tabon Port. Unlike sa bus, medyo alanganin yung drop-off ng bus natin. Port, magbabayad lang tayo ng 150 pesos for environmental fee and terminal fee na 100. And wala na tayong babayaran afterwards. Kailangan lang natin mag-fill out, no? Um, Forbes din na and provide sa uh, nag assist para mabigyan tayo ng seat, seat number in yung designated seat number natin during the boat transfer. Then, mabilis lang din yung process and during our um, vacation or trip, hindi naman ganun katao or hindi naman heavy yung number ng tao na nandito. So, mabilis lang talaga. Time check, it's 10.20. Nasa Boracay Island na po kami. Hi guys, 10.24 na in the morning and it's Friday. Um, Naghintay lang kami ng multi-cab. Going to our hotel sa Alta Vista Resort. So, dahil nga DIY ito, hinihintay namin yung um, cab or yung e-trike na loop na pwede kami makisabay kasi pag special na sa 350 yata so see you there yung binayanan namin for Walday Cab is 50 pesos per person uh, from terminal going to station zero kung saan yung accommodation namin pero for special trip Nag-range siya ng 250 pesos to 300 depende sa mga kausap nyo na driver. So, currently, um, dito sa area or sa road na dinaanan namin, ginagawa yung kalsada. So, medyo may delay or may traffic along the way. But, all in all, mabilis din naman yung biyahe compared sa Manila traffic, no? So, ito yung... Accommodation namin sa Alta Vista, Station Zero. Walang beach view dito. Meron lang silang infinity pool. And sobrang malayo niya sa beachfront ng station, uh, Stations 1, 2, 3 ng Boracay Island. So, less ang crowd. Um, pero, expensive. Medyo expensive yung pamasahe kasi whenever we go down para kumain or mag- um, picture thinking sa beach kailangan namin buwaba from uh, accommodation pero overall experience sa Alta Vista naman is very good um, okay naman yung lahat na kailangan namin is well provided and mal malamig yung aircon so ito yung view ng infinity pool nila which is so relaxing and uh, mula naman bayad yung pag access <laughs> Then, room tour. So, ito na po yung room. And, ang uh, ating bisita. <laughs> so, ayan. Ayan. Oh my gosh. It's a huge, huge space. Look at this area. And, Okay,
Then after sunset, may nakita kaming photo boost. So tinanayin namin siya for 250 pesos lang. May printed copy na dalawang copies na photo shoot. So libre yung paplancha, hair iron, and then yung mga props. Merong glasses dito, may mga headbands or headwear na pwedeng gamitin during the photo shoot. So careful lang um, on the way gamitin. And may mga garlands din pala. So merong maraming mga boost dyan or backdrop colors na pwede yung pagpilian. Uh, meron din silang binigay na copy or QR where you can access yung digital copy ng photo and video, cute video ng photo shoot. So it's a nice experience. So must try. Walk kami from Alta Vista to Tuha Beach, 10 minutes lang siya. In morning, kami pumunta para konti lang yung tao. So, ito, very clear pa. Wala kami pa lang yung um, tourist dun sa spot. And, and um, medyo marami na rin naman open. Uh, souvenir shop and if gusto nyo mag-breakfast, meron din naman open dito. So, here are some of the uh, items na pwede nyo mabili sa Puka Beach. So, best advice siguro mas mura dito mamili ng mga souvenirs and even magpa-braid mura din siya Okay, time check guys it's 6.05 in the evening and waiting na lang kami na uh, plane so we can board papuntang from Calibo to Manila. Dito na kami sa airport tonight and 7 p.m. pa yung flight namin. So, um, naghihintay or na we're, we're feeling time kasi nga wala pa naman yung plane and later pa yung flight. Also, um, siguro mag-share ako ng tips on uh, checking in, yung mga flight, yung very important things na kailangan um, kinoconsider natin kapag meron tayong flight, no? Dapat um, an hour before nakapag-check in na tayo whether online yan or physical na sa airport ka. Do your online check-in or do check-in manually dito sa airport para kung sakali man na wala pa kayo sa area, pwede kayong hintayin ng plane pag mag-board na. So, very important yan kasi earlier today, uh, may, may nakasabay kami sa van that has flight schedule ng 4pm. Then, we arrived from uh, Calibo Port to Calibo Terminal Airport ng 3pm. Then, this passengers or yung dalawang pasayero, um, they missed their schedule akala nila 5pm. So, pagdating nila ng 3 dito, um, and nag-ikot-ikot pa sila, bandang 4pm nila na-realize na 5 yung schedule and they tried to get in get inside and be uh, boarded dun sa plane ng, ng 4 p.m. I mean, yeah, ng 4 p.m. But, hindi na sila pinayagan. So, ang um, tips ko sa inyo, whenever may important flight kayo or meron kayong flight, uh, mas magandang mas maaga kaysa malate kasi hindi talaga pakapasukin um, sa plane. So, make sure andun yung boarding pass nyo, andun yung IDs nyo, and yung mga luggage nyo are secured. So, madali na lang papasokin sa airport. Kung sakaling may, may nakalimutan or may kailangan balikan somewhere or may mga errands na kailangan paspasan. So, yun yung very important tip that I could share with you. So, right now, naghintay na lang kami in um, Hopefully, this video can be uploaded and um, I hope there are more travels and I could share our DIY tips and tricks. So, 
you know thank you for watching